At today's short video I will show you how to use the import export advanced feature. So first of all be safe with that because you can break your menu where you are importing. So if you are importing the already created menu to the clear new clear menu so it is not a big deal but if you want to import the additional day or two to the already created menu it can be dangerous so please be careful with that so uh, to use this feature first of all you need to have it uh, turn it on so by default the companies don't have this feature so maybe you need to request about that to the your account uh, support specialist and uh, if he turn it on this uh, feature so you can go to the users and go to the uh, permissions and you will find this permission here so it will be daily meals export the daily meals import so you need to turn on this feature and if you have this turn it on you need to refresh the website and go to the menu section then you need to choose which meal plan you need to you want to export so it is good to name it in proper way when it is easier for you to manage them and then you need to go to the details and uh, to more section and there is export and import button and uh, of course you need to export the uh, meal plan and uh, you can choose you want to export all meal plans and variants or you uh, or selected meal plans so you, for example you can export only standard one we will choose the all for the training and the time period so you can export all days from the uh, selected meal plan or you can choose days you want to export if you want to export for example only single day we will also choose all days here and uh, click export button now you need to name it so And if you already exported the file, you need to go to the menu, choose the new menu or create the new meal list and go to the new empty meal list. I have the uh, meal list which is partially empty here, so you can see that it is empty. And uh, now uh, I should import the file, so uh, if I go to the more section and choose import, I can select the file I've already exported and I need to click import button here when the file is ready and here is the most important part if you want to export and import the same menu so if you work on the one company account and the meal plans are the same in the history and in the future so the deal is simple yes because all the meal plans will be the same so uh, you need to select which meal plans you want to copy where and it will be the same yes so muscle gain to muscle gain am package to am package and the portion sizes to the portion sizes and the uh, suits if you want to make any changes you can of course remap it, it remap it you can change the variants naming you can change the portion sizes so if you have a different meal plans in for example two accounts so you need to properly map what you want to import and where so i will leave it to you i think that it is quite intuitive and then at the bottom it is really important to scroll down this um, page to the bottom and uh, then there is the days mapping so you can copy all the week for the new one and you can map uh, the uh, the old one to the new one so for the monday 27 of march i want to copy monday 27 on february i can reorder it so for example i want to import only the single day for example only friday and i can import here the monday maybe so i can reorder it automatically and the, the same for the meal types so i can choose the breakfast for the breakfast early snack for early snack lunch for lunch late snack for light snack dinner for dinner i can also 
uh, remap it, reorder if I want. And at the very bottom there is import options, so I can update ingredients in the product database. So if I am working on the two companies account, I can update the ingredients at the new one. So for example, if I have updated uh, yields like vom and vot in the other account, so I can update it when importing the meal plan. Uh, if I update the price and the packaging, the units of weights or the nutrition in the another account, I can update it while importing. I will turn it off because I don't want to change it and I am working at the same account. So it doesn't matter here and I need to click copy button. It can take uh, a lot of times, even a few minutes if you copy the whole week and there is a lot of meal plans, variants and meals, so it can take even a few minutes. For me it was quite quick and if I go to Friday, you can see that it is already filled, so all the variants and all the meal plans is already imported. So I think that it is quite intuitive, but please be careful, especially with the updating the products, ingredients, and especially if you are importing the data that already existed, um, meal plan to not uh, overwrite the already existed days or meals, to not just broke your whole work you've already have done. So be careful and. Uh, um, I wish you luck to work with this feature and see you at the next video. Bye bye.